Uh, hello and welcome to the first episode of series where we develop different uh, algorithms in Python. Python is a pretty good uh, programming language. It's pretty fast, so it's perfect for developing fast and very performant algorithms. So the first algorithm that we're going to develop today is, of course, sorting algorithm, because this is where you start when you start learning algorithms. I think uh, for this particular video, we're going to develop the simplest uh, a sorting algorithm, we're going to implement a bubble sort. Uh, I'm going to use Python 5. This is the latest version of Python. It has a little bit of different syntax than Python 4 and 3. So let's define a bubble sort function. So what's interesting about Python 5 is that they finally built in the static typing into the language. So we're going to implement a function that takes an array that is indexed by integers and stores integers. Luckily, this language is still based on indentations, so the blocks are defined by indentations, usually two spaces, because it makes the code compact and readable. So what's interesting is that arrays are not available out of the box, so you have to import them from the package data array IO. This was done to just not clutter the global scope of the Python language. To sort the array with bubble sort, you have to know its boundaries. Let's just go ahead and get the boundaries of the array. Uh, I forgot to define the argument that is actually the array. Um, so this function takes the boundaries of the array that we get as an argument of a function. And then we just destructurize it. And yeah, so and then we can just start implementing the bubble sort. Bubble sort consists of two nested for loops. Unfortunately, for loops uh, were also moved to a separate package. They are now in the package data foldable. And then we can just iterate through the array using its boundaries. This is the first uh, outer loop. Then you do inner loop, but the inner loop should start not from the low, but from i plus one. Too high. So this is needed to actually traverse all of the pairs, all of the non-repeating pairs. And then you just read the corresponding values from the array and compare them. If the leftmost value is greater than the rightmost value of the pair, that means that we have to swap them. And yeah, so in that case, we just swap them. So you see, we read i to variable x and j to variable y, and to swap them, we just went for an easiest algorithm, we just write them in a swapped order. And so that should be the implementation of the bubble sort. Let's try to compile that. So it didn't compile because I forgot that a conditional operator is also in a separate package. And now it compiles. So now we have to just check that this algorithm works. So let's create a random array and test our bubble sort out. We're going to use a function new list array that creates an array from a list. So we're going to just put some random numbers there. We have to put six of them like that. On top of that, we have to specify the type of the result. So we know that the type is going to be array. So let's just write it like that. Okay, so to read the array, we're going to use a function get lms. And so you see it's our original array that we constructed. And then we can just apply a bubble sort to that array and ensure that it actually sorted it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is how easily you can implement the famous bubble sort algorithm in Python 5. And in the future, I plan to implement even more algorithms in this beautiful language. So stay tuned.